If you wear a uniform at work and have to wash, repair or replace it yourself, you may be able to reclaim hundreds of pounds of tax for up to five years of expenses. You can reclaim whether it's just a branded t-shirt or if you're a fully uniformed pilot, police officer or nurse. To be able to claim tax relief for washing your work clothing, all of the following must apply. You wear a recognizable uniform that shows you've got a certain job, such as a branded t-shirt, nurse or police uniform. HMRC says a simple test would be if you were out and about and wearing your work uniform, a member of the public would recognize your employer because of logos or a company name from your uniform. That said, I've heard reports that even plain clothes without a logo, which you only wear for work, may count. So it's worth a try. Secondly, your employer requires you to wear it while you're working. This means you have no other option but to buy it. You can still claim the whole year's relief even if you only had to wear the uniform on one day within the tax year. Thirdly, you have to purchase, clean, repair or replace it yourself. However, you can't claim if your employer washes your kit, provides facilities to do so even if you don't use them or pays you for doing this maintenance. And finally, you paid income tax in the year you are claiming for. Since this is a perk to reduce your tax liability, you can't claim if you paid no tax in the year you're claiming for. One group that shouldn't need to go through this process are those in the armed forces. The cost of maintaining their uniforms should be dealt with via their tax code, with their tax-free personal allowance raised to compensate. And if you're self-employed, instead of claiming via the rebate, you should claim uniform and laundry expenses when filling in your self-assessment tax return. The standard flat rate expense allowance for uniform maintenance is £60. By claiming a uniform tax refund, you'll get back the amount of tax you would otherwise have paid on that £60. So if you're a basic rate taxpayer, you'll get 20% of £60 as a rebate, which is £12. Higher rate taxpayers will get back £24. And since the £60 is a flat rate, you don't need to record and report the individual amounts you actually spend. In addition to the current year's allowance, you can backdate your claim by up to four tax years. Some occupations have more specific limits, such as ambulance staff, often to do with specialist uniforms with a maximum annual allowance of £185. Nurses and midwives can also claim for shoes, socks and tights. Here are some other examples, which are all annual allowances. Firefighters and fire officers allowance is £80. Dental nurses and healthcare assistance allowance is £125. Pilots and co-pilots allowance is £1,022. Mechanics allowance is £120. So how and when will you get the money? Well, for the current tax year, your tax code will change. So you will be taxed less in future and see a slight increase in your take home pay. HMRC says it usually takes two days to get a new tax code. But when you see a difference to your actual pay depends on whether your employer gets it in time to meet the cutoff date for its payroll. If your claim is for previous tax years, HMRC will either make adjustments through your tax code or give you a tax refund. Once your claim has been received and processed by HMRC, you'll be sent a letter telling you how much you're entitled to and details on when the money will be paid. So, how do you make a claim? If this is your first time claiming a tax allowance or the amount you paid out was more than £1,000, simply fill in the P87 form online. Here's the information the form will ask you about. Your employer's name and address, your occupation, job title and industry sector, your details, including your national insurance number and your pay as you earn reference, whether you're claiming flat rate expenses and how you want to be paid, either into your bank account or by check. This form is a catch all so it asks about other expenses you may be claiming. For instance, a company car. If you don't get any of these, just click no on each page of the form that doesn't apply. Oh, and just a quick heads up, you can't claim for the initial cost of the clothes. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and do consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Were you even aware that there was an allowance for uniforms? If you do wear a uniform for work and are going to apply for this allowance, let me know how you got on in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.